Yeah, right, guys, it's going to be the same format as the last one. LUFC Lazar, free transfer madness. First one of 2013, and we'll get straight into it. <coughs> Sorry about that. Matthew Bates. Obviously, right back, left back, and a centre back. Um, good stats, good stats. Um, obviously, shooting's not good, and he's creative, but it's not really what you need from a defender, so, you know, that's good. Tackling, obviously, very, very good for him. The defender of his calibre, he's only 25, so he could grow a bit more before before he starts declining. Um, good teamwork and positioning, so hopefully we'll plug a gap if you need that plug in. Um, maybe if you're at QPR or someone that is desperate. But that's why I was in the back of my row, yeah, it's not going well. <coughs> <coughs> uh, see, I would re record it, but I'm not fair to do good, so. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's going well. This is this was going well, but um, his stats are alright. Um, he wants about 11k, so he's for his stats, that's that's pretty a good deal. Um, positions, as you can see, he can play anywhere apart from forward, which I think is a really good, a really good like ability. But obviously, he's unconvincing here. So defensive midfielder, he's a very, very, very good defensive midfielder as well. But I'm mostly playing either centre back or right back because they're the positions I usually don't really buy for. Left back I buy for all the time, but right back that's truly a good one. But yeah, that's that's basically his positions. We're going to history now. As you can see, former of Borough. Shocked he was released. I mean he played a lot of the games for them. Obviously the last two seasons. Um he was on at Norwich, he's been on at Bristol, he's been on at Darlington as well. Um but yeah, he's a very, very solid defender. If you need a bit of stability, you just sign him up and he will definitely, definitely give you that. Um, yep, next we go on to another guy that was shocked that was released. Nigel Rio Corker. Very, very good stat. Um, good stamina and strength. Good pace. I mean, I, I never really associate him with pace, but you know what I mean? <laughs> I could be wrong. Tackling, superb. Team positioning, once again, is good. Um, leadership, uh, I'll probably suggest putting him as captain, especially if he's in the championship level because he's a very, very good player and I think he has a lot to offer a team that are willing to give him that role. Um, positions he can do, centre-back, defensive mid are his best, only player there really, I mean, these positions, if you have to, do it, but I recommend here, obviously he's a ball-winning midfielder, so these positions will give him the most opportunity to play with his best abilities and help the team out more. Um, he has obviously played for Bolton and Aston Villa. Before that was West Ham. I played a lot of games with them. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand why these guys were released. Obviously, I haven't really looked into it, and I didn't see the point because it's, it's not really important, but of course it's important that you can sign him. Um, but he's a good player. I would recommend him highly, but, you know, it depends the team you are and the budget. And that's that for the first episode, guys. Um, I really want to keep these quick just because... I don't want to make them really long. Obviously, this one's going to be long, so I'm explaining, but I want to keep them just roll out, roll out for you guys. So you, it's not a pain to watch it. Another series I'm going to be doing is a team recommendation. I go through every league, recommend a team, how I'd, what I'd do, who I'd sign. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. LFC Laza. Goodbye and stay safe.